Hey guys, Goshuki here. I've been asked to do like a setup video for the Revolution Pro Controller 2, just kind of setting it up with the PC program. So I will run you through that now. So first we're going to actually want to head on over to this link here. It's going to be nacongaming.com slash revolution dash pro dash controller dash two. Uh, this is where we can download the software to your PC or Mac to program your controller. Once you do that, you'll come to this page um, where you can either download it for PC or Mac. And then there's a video there as well. And it kind of goes over the features and basically this is the website for it. But go ahead and click Windows or Mac for whichever system you have and download it and, and install it. And I'll meet you when you have it running. All right, so this is the main screen for the Pro Controller 2 software. Um, I'm running it on Mac, but it should look the same on Windows. Um, and as you'll see here, we have PS4 mode and PC mode, um, essentially the same thing. Basically, PS4 mode, which is the main function of the controller, is to use it on a play PS4. PC is if you're going to use it on PC or Mac. Um, so we're going to hop into P PS4 mode and um, go through the settings again. It should be the same on PC. So here we are on the next screen. Um, on here at the top, we have a home button, which brings us back home. Uh, we've got activate profiles, which we'll look at a bit later. We've got PS4 mode, which we can switch to PC mode quickly from there. Uh, we've got download and share profiles. So we can download profiles um, that other people have made. We can share ones that we like. Nacon even has some that they've made as well. So check those out. Uh, we've got create a new profile. We've got customize your profiles. So customize the ones you've already made. Uh, we've got some general settings, firmware update, and then at the bottom here we can see our profiles that are on the controller right now. So the first thing I want to look at is general settings because these are going to be the settings that are the same across all profiles. Um, there's only a few things in here. So we got vibration parameters for left and right. So we can actually change how strong the controller vibrates. And this thing vibrates really powerfully. So I keep mine kind of low right here. Um, but you can set it, you can test it over on the right and kind of get a feel for it. At the bottom, we have the lighting parameter. That's going to be for the light that goes around the right control stick there. So we can set how bright or dark it is. We can have it pulsating if we want it off, slow, medium, quick, etc. So pretty self-explanatory. Once you're done in here, just click save and then we'll go back home. The next big one we should be checking a lot is the firmware update. Um, you definitely want to make sure your controller has the latest firmware so it's working properly. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory there. Let's go ahead and head back. Okay, so here's the big one that a lot of people are going to be here for. Um, so we're going to create a new profile. So let's go ahead and click that from the main menu here. Um, now you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'll just name it something random. Uh, banana. <laughs> and then you choose which profile you want it up to be on the controller. And from there, you're going to click Save and Customize Your Profile. Now it's going to take us to this screen, which is where we can customize everything on the profile. Um, so we can set the triggers, the, the back buttons, the can, we can basically customize everything. We're going to start up top with the sticks first. So this is going to be the most compl complicated one that a lot of people have questions on. Um, so if you aren't sure of settings, I do have another video um, where you can check out where I kind of go over settings I use for like Call of Duty or Destiny. So you might want to check those out. Um, but just as a general look, you can set the sensitivity of each stick to high or low. You can set the dead zone radius. So basically the bigger the radius, the, the more you have to push the stick to get something to happen. Um, so you kind of want to keep that low. And then you have the curve, the response curve, which again, check out my other video to get more information on that. Um, but this is the default setting right here. So high with a radius of two and then, yeah. So back on the main screen, we're gonna go into mapping now, which is um, what someone else was asking me about. So here you can change the mapping of basically any button on the controller, not just the back buttons. And you can change the directional pad from four way to eight way. Um, so to change one of the buttons, basically you're going to select it and then you're going to press the button on the controller that you want it to be. So for example, here's one of the back buttons. It's set to R1. So basically you're going to have the controller plugged in. Just press whatever button you want to change it to. Once you do that, you're going to, once you're finished, you're going to save and return to the main menu. Now the final thing we can customize is going to be the triggers. 
So let's go in there now. I like 50%, 0 to 50%. So basically, it's it's how far you press the trigger down before it actually does something. Um, so like a normal DualShock controller would be 100%. You got to press it all the way down before it shoots, basically, like in a shooting game. Um, I keep them at 50, so that way it fires quicker. I don't have to press the button all the way down to get it to shoot my gun. Um, so you can play around with those. Um, if you want like a hair trigger, I recommend 0 to 50. Some people use 0 to 33 as well. Um, I use 0 to 50, but again, whatever works for you, just try them out here. And then when you're done, just go ahead and go back. And last but not least, once you are done creating your profiles and you have all four or whichever ones you want, you can just click activate profiles at the top and that'll load them into the controller. And then you can go ahead and try them out on your PS4 or PC. So that's going to be it for now. Um, here you can see we've activated our profiles. We have four in there. So we can go test them out on the PS4 and see if they work the way we want. If not, we can plug it in and mess with the settings again. Um, otherwise, that's going to be it for this video. Check out, again, I'll, I'll link them below. Check out my other videos on my recommended settings for like Destiny, Call of Duty. They're probably going to be pretty much the same for a lot of shooters. And um, otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And go Shuki out.